Here's a short explanation of Bears vs. Babies. Let's start with the basics. The game is for two to five players and for ages 10 and up. The average game time is about 15 to 20 minutes with the objective of the game to build monsters which fight against babies. The player who beats the most babies, who has the highest score, wins the game. The game contains one game board and 107 playing cards. To set up the game, place the board in the middle of the table, then go through the cards and find the five bear heads. Deal one bear head to each player. The remaining bear heads go back into the deck. Now shuffle all the cards together. Once shuffled, deal four more cards to each player. Then separate the rest of the cards into three decks and place them on the draw pile boxes. Players now look at their cards. If you get any baby cards, place them face down on the game board according to which baby army they belong to, either land, sea, or sky. Then draw a new card. You should have five cards at the beginning of the game, and remember at no time should you have any baby cards in your hand. Players then decide who will go first, and play will go clockwise around the board. On your turn, you can choose one of three moves. You can take actions, provoke babies, or go dumpster dive. Let's take a look at each option. In taking actions, depending on the number of players in the game, will determine how many actions you are allowed in your turn. The board has a reminder of this. Taking an action is either drawing a new card or playing a card in your hand. If you play a card, you should immediately replace that card with a new one. Provoking a baby army. When choosing to do this option, you do not draw or play any cards during your turn. You simply say that you wish to provoke and then reveal which of the baby armies you wish to provoke and begin a battle. Dumpster Dive. When you choose this option, you do not play or draw any new cards. You declare that you wish to dumpster dive, and then you can choose any one card from the discard pile. If you decide to retrieve a baby from the dumpster, place the baby face down in the appropriate army pile. Building Monsters. If you're building a monster, you always have to start with a head. Then, you can add other parts to the body so long as the stitches all line up. You can add different power-ups and other features to your monsters. Just like the babies, there are three different kinds of monsters, land, sea, and sky. Each part of the monster you build has a number on it. You add these numbers up in order to determine how strong is your monster. You can build as many monsters as you wish before any baby armies are provoked. Now we'll look at how battles work. When a baby army is provoked, flip over the cards of the chosen baby army and count their total points. Players now need to take a look at their monsters that are the same type as the baby army and count up the monsters points. The player who has the strongest monster army that beats the baby army collects the babies as their score for the game. If a player ties with a baby army, then the player is the winner. If no player beats the baby army, all of the baby army is placed into the discard pot. Monsters can only fight in one battle, so at the end of a battle, all monsters involved with the battle, regardless of winning or not, is placed into the discard pile. And finally, let's look at the end of the game. 
When the last card is drawn, whoever drew the last card completes their turn. Then, each player takes one last turn, including the player who drew the last card. Once the final turns are completed, players add up their total number of baby points. The person who has the highest score is the winner. Alright, it's a little crazy, but now you know the basics, so let's play.